The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Rich Martin here for the Eagle Sports Network as Carson Newman Track and Field gets ready for the 2022 season and they have unveiled their indoor and outdoor track and field schedule and coach needs this year. A lot different from last year. You have a lot more options this right. year for right. meets that you can go to and we'll kind of go over some of those options in the indoor and outdoor. We'll start with indoor first. Uh, your first meet is, you have two meets actually at ETSU. Your first meet is going to be there. Last year, very successful in right. the one meet in the Buck Dome with Joseph Areva breaking a school record, Natalie Schumacher recording a win, Tia Davis tying a school record, and Devon Moore of two national qualifying times. Um, what about this team and just competing at ETSU has made them so well, especially to start off the season with a bang? Well, it's like a 293 meter flat track. You know, most are 300 or 200 meter. It's about 293 meters, so it is it, it, it is it is a good place to run. It's a good place to get you know, where you can get kind of stretched out a little bit, and it's not all curve. And then and then the other great thing is is that, you know certainly uh, ETSU and their staff at ETSU they do a great job of running a great meet. There's it's it, if you've ever been to the dome before, you know it's kind of spacious, so you can spread the team out, and it's 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 a pretty close trip for us. And so our student athletes aren't troubled with it, spend the night in a hotel and everything else. So it really does, it, 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 it does check off all the boxes for us from a, from a competition standpoint. And just from our student athletes, I mean, when you're going there and you're competing against Division I schools and Division II schools, it, but you, you want to show out. And, and you know, you, there's a history that's there every year and the, there's a history of with our program being there. So we, we definitely want to, to do well when we go to ETSU. Looking also, you have cho options between two different meets or a right. bunch of different meets in Virginia, right. either at VMI or at Roanoke College. Success right. at both of those. Um, what about VMI and then Roanoke? You know, one's D1, one's D3, right. but still both very good meets put on by those schools. Yeah, well, well one's a 200-meter flat and one's a 200-meter hydraulic. And so each is different in its own right. 200-meter hydraulic, you're going to get the, you're going to get the benefit of, uh, of a raised curve. And 200-meter flat, you get the conversion. So both of those fit, you know, in a weekend like that, the NCAA rule is is that it doesn't matter if you're all in one place. You just that's a number that compete in a weekend. So we may send some because it better behooves them to go to the 200 meter hydraulic, and then send some to a 200 meter flat, and let them throw at a place like that just because it better fits. And so for us to look at meets where, where we kind of have a split squad, unlike football or basketball, where you want your entire team in one place. For track, you want to put them on the best surface against the best competition, and that's and, and that's what we get when we do the split meets. Speaking of split squad, I have options to go down to Birmingham again, yep. the Crossplex. Last year went there twice, and some sprinters down there, some distance runners, right. and uh, sent a good amount of people there, and of course sent people there for the national championships. Sure. Uh, performing at such a big event and such a big place, you know, does that kind of get your team used to what a possible national championship and conference meet? Yeah, one of the things that we try and do as a, as a coaching staff is, is to simulate as close as we can uh, meets that either mirror what our conference meet or what the national meet looks like. And so our conference meet is designed to simulate the national meet as close as possible. And by having those options, what we do is we create in them, they understand that they may have to run two times, three times in, in two days. And so how, does, how do I take care of my body so when I go to nationals, like I'm, I'm not shocked, and then all of a sudden, like this, this is this is a chore. So a guy like Devon Moore, who has been to many national championships, we've tried to create that for him during the year so that he's ready to go. And of course, JDL Fast Track um, mm -hmm. will hopefully get to go back there this year. Didn't get to last year because the event's being canceled to COVID. Uh, that's what a conference championship is as right. well. A couple of chances before then. Um, how is your team prepared for this uh, JDL Fast Track? And how was JDL Fast Track? How does it compare to some of the different places you'll be going this season? Well, they, they have a they have a motto that says uh, "flat is fast," <laughs> and so because it's a 200 meter flat track you get a conversion so if you run a fast time it even is faster in everything other than the 60 meters because the 60 is the 60 is the 60 no matter where you run so you get the conversion and when you get the conversion you're able to use that and it applies to where you run so we love jdl from that standpoint um, some of our jumpers um, have done well there um, it, it's 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 a tough place to jump because it, you know it's great sand it's level and and and, and, and everything else but um, we, we love going there. Craig does a great job running that facility and does a great job of reaching out to the people. Um, he doesn't cater just to the Division I schools, but really does a great job of reaching out to the Division II and Division III schools to make them feel welcome at his place. And so it, we're, we're excited about every opportunity we have from, in, from an indoor standpoint. 
Um, when I first started doing the show, we had about two or three choices to go to, and, and that really has changed over the years because more and more programs are adding uh, indoor facilities, and when they add indoor facilities, you really get a chance to, to find what's best for your, for your student athletes. So. And uh, we'll move on to the outdoor as well this year. Outdoor, there's some places that you've been to before. Right. Um, you have Lee on there, went to last right. year. Montreal will go there as well. Lenore Ryan for a couple right. of events. Um, what does it say about going to some of these places where that you may feel comfortable last year? Because a lot of the team competed last year in their first ever year right. in outdoor. Um, what does it say about that to go to some places they may be comfortable? Well, you know, Lee is great because the level of competition is also great at Lee. So when we go to Lee, we know that we're getting the best of the best in Division Two and around there. And Montreat, the same thing. They, you know, they do a good job of getting the people that are in Western North Carolina, ETSU, uh, East, 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 like ETSU, but also East Tennessee, like ETSU and Western Carolina and teams like that. So it's a wide range. And when we won there last year, that was a great experience. But to be able to get all the things that we can from a meet competition standpoint, we don't have to go super far to go find that. We can really be successful against who we're competing against. This year you're going to have a new place to go to, Anderson yeah. University. Yeah. You're going there for one meet, and also that's where the SAC championships will right. be. Um, of course, you've got to go there one time to kind of get familiar with it. Um, what kind of different challenges will Anderson prevent, present to you? Well, it's a new track, and anytime you run on a new track, it's just the lay of the land, where you go for check-in, where, you, where you, you put your team tent up and all the things that you need to do. And so from, from that standpoint, it, it is great to have all the things that you need while you're, while, while you're doing that. And so it's good, to, like you said, to get the, the one-time meet there. But by the time you get to the conference meet, it doesn't matter where it is because wherever it is, you're going you're gonna to be focused so much on the task at hand. Now, what we hope for is, is that we get good weather because last year we didn't get good <laughs> weather at the conference championship. But if we can get the conference, get a, then we'll be in great shape. And, of course, you have two big-time meets here in the state of Tennessee. Yeah. One, a two-day meet over at Vanderbilt in the right. Music City Challenge. And then, of course, one of the last chance meets to Tennessee Challenge over right. in Knoxville. Um, How is it to just run on these two big-time Division One tracks? Well, the, the key for us is going to be that we have to get in, <laughs> right? So, I mean, in, in order for us to be successful, we have to get into those meets. And so you got to have a Tennessee last chance, but the Tennessee, you know, Tennessee relays um, and meets like that were – you know, we're hoping that we our, our resume speaks so loud that that it's uh, Carson Newman being in those meets is is an obvious choice. And so, you know, when you, when you can do that, and it used to be the Tennessee relays used to be the C Ray relays, and we would go every year. We'd bring our very best kids. Now it's a it's a premier Division One meet. So the idea, if you can get a couple kids in that are maybe nationals ready, that can put on a good show and show what Carson Newman's all about. That that our best kids can stand on level with anybody. And, and that's what we, we know and, and have a chance to do. You know, a couple years ago, Devon Moore won the, the 100 meters over at, at, at the Tennessee Relays and, and showed what we were all about and set a shattered to school record. So each time we do that, we, we just hope that, that that's the case, that we, we get against such good competition that it brings out the very best in our kids. And, of course, finally, like you said, you have to get in Florida relays scheduled, yeah. Texas relays scheduled. A few years yeah. ago, athletes can meet in the Penn relays, right. which are one of the biggest track meets in the entire nation and internationally. Um, what would it mean for this Carson Newman program to get, you know, even just one runner in or possibly more into both of those meets? Right, I, I, and I think that we will be at that point. I think we'll have a relay team that this year in the 4 by one and possibly in the 4 by 4 that will be uh, of, that, uh, of that level. In fact, I think that our 4 by one team can be as good as any – four by one team in the country just because of the speed that we have with it. We recruited well with new transfers. And so when you have the kind of athletes that are top tier caliber athletes, you want to take them to places where they can really perform and really can shine. If you look at a lot of the best marks in the country, a lot of times they come from those meets like the Texas relays, the Tennessee relays, the Florida relays, because the level of comp competition is so high, the pen relays, that it, it brings out the very best and, and, and the best athletes. And that's what we're hoping to, to gain with a, the with a possibility of going to the Texas Relays or the Florida Relays or the Tennessee Relays. Coach Nance, thank you for your time and good luck to track and field this season. Thank you. Indoor season starts January 14th. We'll trip just up the road, Johnson City, for the ETSU Invitational.